Hey everyone, Uncle Jesse here. A few months ago, I made a video all about how you can print faster with your resin 3D printers with some setting changes called Vroom. A basic summary of that is you're gonna increase your speeds for lifting and lowering the print bed, and that's gonna decrease the time it takes for you to run your 3D prints, and I was seeing some fantastic results with those on the Elgu Mars 2 Pro. And in fact, I've been running those same settings on my machines for the past few months since making that video. Well, recently I've been wondering how far can I take those Vroom settings with the machine here like the Elgu Mars 2 Pro. So in today's video, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing and seeing what the results look like. And before we do that, I wanted to take a minute to say thank you to today's video sponsor, which is none other than Elgu, the makers of the Elgu Mars 2 Pro, the Elgu Saturn, and the Neptune 2, and some other wonderful machines. I'm also printing today in their standard skin color resin here that you can find over on Amazon. It's a beautiful color and I love printing with it. I'll also be using the Wash and Cure Station in today's video to clean all of my resin 3D prints. The Mars 2 Pro is the go-to resin 3D printer that I typically recommend for anybody looking to get started with resin 3D printing. It's just a fantastic machine that can basically print anything that I throw at it. If you're interested in any of the Elgu products, you'll find links down below. Thanks again to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. And with that said, I do not recommend you running off and attempting to max out your Vroom settings on your 3D printer. Let me do all that testing and play around with this. You're potentially capable of burning out the motors on the machine, and I don't wanna see that happen to anybody out there. And Elgu's kind enough to let me experiment with their machines and test the limits of what these things can do. In order to do this as well, you're gonna to need to modify the firmware on your printer. I explained that in the last video, but you're gonna to need to tweak some further settings. I'll include a link to the modified firmware that I've used for this video. Again, don't recommend you going as extreme as I've done here today, but if you're interested, you'll find a link to that below. So here are the results that I was seeing with the next set of test prints here with this test file all the way up to 600 print speed. Really crazy. You'll notice it was pretty much a gradual decrease in time by about one minute throughout this printing process. I figured I could probably go even faster than 600, but for today's test, I'm gonna cap it out there. I don't wanna burn out my Mars 2 Pro because I use it all the time, and that seems like it's already pretty extreme as it is, but I was honestly surprised to see that it was actually printing and the prints look good. I was expecting those to fail or just be all sort of mushed and not look proper, but they look great as far as I can tell. Now I'm sure it's not gonna print as good if we get in with a microscope or something like that and check out the fine details, but from just a naked eye here, it looks really good. So I figured once we're done with this, let's run off and print something slightly cooler. So I then went off and printed one of Wexter's latest models, which is his zombie magneto print that you can find over on his Patreon. I printed this at the standard speed at 300 and 600. And I can't believe that the 600 print speed actually printed. I can't believe this actually printed. It was a two and a half hour long three print. This is the fastest that I've basically ever 3D printed anything on the Mars 2 Pro this large. This is incredible. And I'm drip, drip I'm just dripping resin all over the table here. This is uh, not, not a good idea. I'm a little shocked. I would have thought that the supports would have failed on this, that the print would have just overall failed. Something would have went wrong. And as far as I can tell, it looks just as good as the 300 speed. Again, I wouldn't recommend modifying <laughs> your printer's code to do this, but it's pretty impressive to see what you can do by pushing the limits of these machines with some of these setting tweaks. And you can see here just by looking at the standard print settings, which were three hours and 48 minutes compared to the 300, which was two hours and 48 minutes, a one hour time savings, then compared to the 600 speed, which was two hours and 32 minute print time. So as you're continuing to progress there, it wasn't as significant of a time savings. I was hoping it would even cut in half, maybe an hour and 48 minutes but it was just slightly better. So again, another reason why I really wouldn't recommend going on beyond 
300 speed when modifying these printers. So if you're interested in more information on the Vroom settings, I'll have links to the previous video where you could find that out. It's a fantastic way to get started with increasing your print times. I'll also include a link down below where you can see all of the different settings that I used for these different prints and the variety of different print speeds that I worked with. And again, I left all of the typical settings the same. It was just increasing those print speeds. I also want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. Couldn't do this without your help. If you're interested in more information about my Patreon, and how you can get access to my resin 3 printing settings, including my support settings like I used here for this print, you'll find links down below. So let me know what you thought about this crazy experiment of pushing this to 600 print speeds. I didn't even think it could do that and reliably print well, but it did. I'm honestly a little shocked. Let me know what you think if I should even try and push it further than this. I don't know, it's a little crazy, but thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Also, thanks again to Wexter for making this amazing magneto file. I can't get over how awesome it is. I'm gonna be printing and following up and trying to paint that here in the upcoming weeks. I don't know if I'm gonna do it on a live stream or something like that, but I'm definitely gonna get this printed and painted. It's so dang cool.